Rick Sky here. Now I'm always uh, always do my best to try to uh, explain how to how to do something because there's a lot of value in knowing how to do something because not only can you do it yourself, but you can teach others how to do it, and and that's just a good feeling. So I encountered this problem. Now as you know, I I love Mac and and I you know hate Mac, love Mac, whatever. That's that's beside the point. But what I want to talk about is one of the first problems that I've ever encountered with a with a piece of Apple hardware, and that's the Magic Touchpad. Now, this Magic Touchpad I got with my current model iMac. I've got the most recent 27-inch Haswell, um, and it came with a new touchpad. Now, the previous touchpad I'd used with my late 2009 model iMac for many years, no problems. But what happened? this thing started to stick so you would push them out you know you'd push down and it would uh it would just go crazy at times so it would click stuff and you know stuff you didn't want to click and delete stuff and it was it's pretty crazy so it led to the investigation because most people assume well if i'm pushing on this there must be something defective right here the way this is designed if you look at the back this thing has two nipples there's a nipple there and a nipple there and if you push down on the nipple you can feel it click so what happens if you're having a uh, let's just say you had a coke or a pepsi or something like that on your desk and it spilled there's the possibility that some of that uh, some of that stickiness that corn syrup can get up around these nipples here and when those nipples have stickiness around them they may not press and pop back up properly so what you could do, and this, and this may not fix everybody's magic pad, but what I did is that obviously I took the batteries out because I didn't want to risk uh, possibly shorting it out. But I got a, uh, a very, I, I got a wet uh, cloth, just kind of moistened the cloth, and you know, it wasn't dripping wet, and then I just kind of rubbed it around these nipples. And when I did that, the, uh, the, the residue that was around the nipples it came out and then when I put my magic pad back on my desk and I clicked it you didn't feel that that delay because it would intermittently stick so that is how to fix an Apple branded this is the Apple brand magic trackpad which I love it's a big trackpad feels so much better than a mouse once you start using one of these you probably won't want to go back to a mouse but that is how to fix an Apple Magic trackpad. So I hope this video was a value. Share it with others. Subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube.com forward slash IRIXGUY. And enjoy all my videos. Y'all have a good day.